Welcome to Philly Ballers Episode 1, the weekly podcast. Not much to say about this one, about this week. Not many news came out. There are two big things that aren't really that big. So let's let's start here. Owen, how's it going? Good. Here we go. I'm bored. Yes. Here we go. The only news of today. The teams, the NBA, is opening practice facilities. No date when they're opening them, but they're opening. So, (laughs) yeah. And then no head coaches will be allowed to participate or observe the workouts. Uh, Why? They don't want them to get corona? Yeah, pretty much, because most of them are old and they have a high risk of getting them. Like Brett Brown. That's all the news from today. It's pretty boring. Not today, from this week. Kind of a quiet week. More NFL talk than really anything else. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Not much. Not much. Um... So, today is Friday. Yes. That means the weekend is coming up. So, the Sixers, or I should say the NBA, because the Sixers probably weren't making it. (laughs) But the NBA would have basically started, they would have basically started the second round playoffs right now. They're like game, like, four. As we're coming up on the one year anniversary of um we're basically coming up on the one year anniversary of the Kawhi quadruple dink. I mean it's not something to look back on that's good, but like yeah, yeah. it's an insane shot and it's something to like I know it was against us and it's like sucks that we had to like walk look through that. Go yeah. watch that video. It has 14,000 views. Self-plug. Um, but, like, <laughs> but May 13th will be the uh, one-year anniversary. So, we're almost, like, you know. There. And we had such high – everyone had such high expectations for this year. And it all just came crashing down. <laughs> like, I said they were going to lose in the finals to the Lakers. The Lakers are still going to win the NBA finals. But, like. Yeah, probably. So, here's my question. And this is where we're going to extend this part of the show. This is going to be the biggest part of the show because this is the only thing that's going on right now. So do you think this quarantine time is going to help or do you think it's going to make it worse for the upcoming Sixers season? So we know sometime coming up that the Sixers will be starting a season. Yeah. We don't know when. So do you think this is going to help the players and the team because you think they're going to work out or like just no? No, probably. I mean, well, some of them don't have gyms at their house. So like, I mean, Ben, like they pro like some of them do, but. Joel's probably going to gain an extra like 40 pounds. When yeah, probably. Back. He's going to turn into Charles Barkley. He's only going to have cheeseburgers and soda for lunch. There was a whole thing on Twitter that came out about Charles Barkley and Joel Embiid, and they just said he's lazy. That's what they said. That's what. That's why Charles Barkley doesn't like Joel because he's <laughs> lazy. So it's gonna help Ben Simmons because Ben Simmons is a guy that would do that stuff, and because he has a good work ethic, work ethic, he just doesn't want to shoot the basketball, which is a problem. And we'll talk about that late, like down the road when we know the season is coming back. But Joel, I mean, he's good, but, like, he does not have a good work ethic because – Yeah. Did you – I don't – this came out a long time ago, but, like, it might still be true. Like, his – his – um his pregame meal is Chick-fil-A. Really? Yeah. Your pregame meal should be, like – Like – Like, he has, like, Chick – like, um – 
those sandwiches. I don't I don't like Chick-fil-A. Oh, uh, chicken sandwiches? Yeah. And he has a milkshake before games. So that's his pregame meal. I mean, milkshake is like, um, uh, well, milkshake has like milk in it, so. I know, I mean, but like, it's still but every, But like, maybe Ice like, cream. yeah, like maybe like once, but not every single time. Like Maybe like after the game? Yeah, or something. Or preseason. Preseason doesn't pre-season, matter. Yeah. Joe, I don't, I don't think this is gonna help Joel. He's gonna gain an extra forty pounds. He's gonna be. Yeah. Do you watch the Perfect? Yeah. Did you see their quarantine? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Joel's gonna look like when. They, how when did they? How did back. they make Ty look like that? I don't know. They probably have like a. I mean Hollywood, um, like whatever they're called. Makeup. Yeah, Hollywood makeup artists can probably do that. Yeah. Well, he probably had a fat suit on. I mean, they they make lots of money from their videos, so they can do yeah. basically whatever they want. So, talking about the Sixers, there's not much to talk about because the season's in jeopardy right now. We don't even know if the season's going to count. Yeah. But this season, actually, I'm going to go get up. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some. Okay. Don't put this in. No guns, you're gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> so, this, something, so I went to a Sixers game this year, and me and my dad took this picture. Yeah. So, it was our first, it was the first game we went to this season. It wasn't the home opener or anything. So, I made a caption that says, first game of 2019 20 season, right? Yeah. I made a typo. First game if 2019-20 season. <laughs> so I I don't know what I did. I think I just pricked it, this entire thing. So to prove my theory right, we're not coming back this year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. There's not much else to do. You have anything you want to talk about? Um, not much. I mean. I watched a new episode of Game of Zones earlier today. It's pretty good. Oh, wait, The Last Dance. Oh, yeah, The Last Dance. forgot about that. Last Dance, we're on episode six. Don't quote me on that. Um, so no, last... seven. We're on seven. We're on seven and eight. Of, we're going Sunday. into seven and eight on Sunday. Yeah. So the last two episodes were very interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Michael Jordan, he gambled. Is that yeah. the word? He, gamb- he gambled a lot. Yeah. And I feel like he said it perfectly. Like, I forget what he said, but he said, like, it's not an addict. It's a, he likes to do it. Like, yeah. Like, you're a uh, D R U G addict. That's an addict. Like, yeah. All that stuff. If you're gambling, you can't be like an addict to that. That you just like to gamble. I mean, you like, can. That's not, that's not a problem with the NBA. He's spending his own money. That's his decision. I don't know yeah. why it was such a big deal. Yeah, true. There's so or many it. other players do that. I people always say that LeBron's better than Michael Jordan, but that's probably not true. Cause not. yeah, there is no way. Cause LeBron, like literally, you can flop when like someone touches you, and they'll call a foul. Like, the, the Pistons literally designed the defense to, like, beat up Michael Jordan. So, and he still and scored, like, 30 a game. And they're still, and then they're two completely different players, too. Yeah, true. So, like, we said this last, we said this last time, but the audio got cut out. We're not going to talk about that last episode that we filmed last week. But, like, so Michael Jordan, he'll, like, find a hole. And they'll try to run through you to try to get to the basket. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron James LeBron James will run on top of you and tumble over you and try to get to the basket. That's what he'll do. Yeah. And it's two completely different eras. Yeah. Watching yeah. this stuff and doing all the 700 level and stuff, sports were so much better back then. I know. Like, yeah. sports is terrible compared to back then. Yeah. The one thing I like about the show, though, is, like, they switch between times and stuff. Yeah. 
So, like, it goes from, like, Dennis Rodman's childhood to, like, Michael Jordan's gambling or whatever. It goes from, like, the main season we're looking at is 1998, the last season and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. I can spoil it to you, for you because I know what happens, but I'm not going to. Oh, um, so, like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're coming up on seven and eight. I'm still waiting for the Space Jam episode. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause that was that was a big part. Speaking of Space Jam, Space Jam two. LeBron was was wearing a Space Jam hat on his like Snapchat story. Yeah. The one day. So. So, that that's big. Space Jam two coming out next year, I think they said. Yeah. So Space Jam Looney Tunes will still be in it. Looney Tunes will still be in it. That's good. Yeah. Space Jam was like one of my top ten movies that I've watched of all time. It's it's just it's it's a smart movie. Yeah. Because two big things at the time: Michael Jordan and Looney Tunes. So two like the yeah. biggest thing right now. Bugs you put them together in one movie, and it's perfect. Yeah. It did such a good job, and now they're coming up with number two, and basketball is ginormous now in the world. And everyone likes LeBron, so I mean, not everybody. Well, but he, most if he came to Philly, he would have he uh, would have been better. Yeah, he, if, yeah. So back on track with this LeBron better than MJ. So LeBron James has won three NBA finals. He's led mm-hmm. a team to three finals. Three I mean, well, final not wins. really because he had D Wade and Chris Bosh on his team. Yeah. So and then but he also had he was Kyrie. The, he was the biggest star on those teams. Yeah, but still, he on the Cavs he had Kyrie and Kevin Love. I mean, he was still the biggest star, but like Kyrie had the like game winning shot. So I of. mean, MJ had Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman, but he yeah, was yeah. he MJ did most of the work. Yeah, and I'm like looking back on MJ stuff. He did not have a bad game. He never had a game under twenty under ten points. They were all like twenties, thirties, forties. Yeah. There were a lot of 50s. Nowadays, the average points are, like, 15. His average per game was, like, 40. And that's saying a lot. Right super, and it's saying a lot because they were super physical. Yeah. So, MJ – and MJ led a team to uh, six championships. Yeah. And, and he won three in a row, which is the record. Actually, well, the Warriors, I think, no, the Warriors didn't break it. Never mind. All right, Michael Jordan, here we go. If the thing will look. So, while we're waiting, there we go. Oh, my. His point average per game in his career. Points per game. Do we have the stats here? Is point so he had more thirty okay, so in his career his point per game is Am I looking at this correctly? <laughs> Wait, are you cutting this out? No. Um, 21.2. Oh. That's low. Yeah. Because his points per game in 1993, which is the highest, was 30, uh, 92, 93 season, 32.6 was the highest. Mm. But he was still scoring 30 point, like, more than yeah. that. Yeah. That's basically going to do it. Not much to talk about today. Pretty boring. We'll be net. We'll be back next week. Play the music. Hold on, Benjamin. Play the music. Um, play the. Oh my God, I'm not good with YouTube. Okay, play the music. We'll be back next week. Hopefully, more news. Hopefully, some breaking news. Yeah. We'll be back next time. Three sports. Yeah. Out. Peace.